Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all are doing good in this lecture we are going to learn about roman numerals first i will explain you what are roman numerals roman numerals were invented by the romans many years ago though they are not as simple as the hindu arabic numbers we still use them in our everyday life we use hindu arabic numbers for counting as you all know we use hindu arabic num numerals for counting but in roman empire they used roman numerals for counting numbers The Romans used seven letters of the alphabet to represent the numbers. In Roman numerals, they are there are seven symbols for counting. Let us study these Roman symbols and Roman numerals. The letters represent a value. i i represents 1 v represents 5 x represents 10 l represents 50 c represents 100 d represents 500 and m represents 1000 all the other numbers are written by different combination of these symbols now let us look at first rule rules of writing roman numerals first rule is symbols i and x can be repeated maximum 3 times to form a number i and x these cannot be repeated more than 3 times example i equal to 1 twice i means 1 plus 1 that's equal to 2 thrice i that's 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's equal to 2 that's equal to 3 x represents 10 twice x means 10 plus 10 that's equal to 20 thrice x means 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 30 as i have already told you that we cannot use more than 3 times 1 and x here if we write x x x x four times x that is wrong if we write x x x i and x that is right means x x x that is 10 plus 10 plus 10 that's equal to 30 and this this is i x means i is indicates 10 minus i 1 that's equal to 9 that means this one is wrong this one is correct means we cannot write 1 and x more than 3 times next second one is if the smaller value is written first followed by the larger value then subtract the values i represents 1 v represents 5 these two letters are used to create the number 4 since 1 is less than 5 so we will subtract 1 from 5 to get number 4 like this 
I V means four is equal to five minus one is equal to four. Whenever we have smaller value following by the larger value, then what we have to do is we have to subtract the values. Similarly, I x i is smaller value and x means 10 that is larger value that means 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 here i represents 1 x represents 10 and 1 is less than 10 now let's move to the third rule that is if the larger value is written first following by the smaller value, then add the values. V is equal to 5. I is equal to 1. These two letters are used to create the number 6. Since we know here 5 is greater than 1. So we will add them together to get 6. That is V i equal to 5 plus 1 equal to 6. Whenever we have larger value written first following the smaller value, then what we are going to do is we have to add the values. Similarly, x i. x represents 10. i represents 1. Then 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Now, 4. Let's again look how we are going to write the number 4. I is equal to 1. V is equal to 5. Starts with I is equal to 1 and 1 is lesser than 5. If first digit is less than second digit, then we have to subtract them. We have to subtract the values. That means 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Here, 6. VI, 6. Six starts with V represents five and I represents one. If first digit is greater than second digit, then we have to add the values. That is five plus one is equal to six. Rule number four. There is no concept of place value system in Roman numeral system. In this system, Roman numeral system, there is no concept of place value system. Like in uh, Hindu Arabic numerals, we have a place value system. That's ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. But in Roman numeral system, we do not have any concept of place value system. Now, next rule. Symbols V, L and D cannot be repeated then once. V, L and D. These can be repeated only once. These cannot be repeated more than once. Next. Zero does not exist in Roman numerals. Zero does not exist in Roman numerals. Like in Hindu Arabic numerals, uh, we start with the number 0. 0 exists there, but here 0 does not exist. Now, this is the Roman numeral chart. You can write down it on your notebook and practice them. 1. I, two, twice I, three, thrice, then four, I, V, 
5v6 as you can see we have not used i more than thrice hey students i hope you had fun learning about the roman numerals with me thank you please like share and subscribe our youtube channel